This program was produced by and first broadcast on Radio Kidnappers, a community access media station. Thanks to New Zealand On Air for making this type of programming possible. Good morning, Grant. Um, this is Heiko from the Acupuncture On Air program, and we've got um, Grant with us. Just checking that you're there online, are you, Grant? Yep, I'm here. Yeah, Good yeah. morning, Heiko. Yeah, we've got Grant Pierce from Hamilton. Uh, he's, he's a registered acupuncturist, and he was on our show not long ago talking about um, acupuncture and back pain. And today we're going to talk as... Um, you know, Grant, you know, about 50% of your patients are back pain, but then, of course, that leaves another 50% of many other conditions. And um, and one of yep. them is um, helping women with their pregnancy and during their pregnancy. And I know there have been quite a few studies about the role of, of acupuncture and such as uh, even morning sickness as well as um, breech baby. So tell us about you know, the – do you get many mums coming in with these issues or are they different different complaints that they have? Well, thankfully for midwives, yeah. I get a lot of pregnant women. Right. But most of them send their their clients for that pre-delivery treatment. Right, pre-delivery so treatment. I, for yeah. three weeks before the delivery, I do a protocol for getting the mother ready to deliver the baby. And are they coming in once a week or twice yeah, a week? Once a week. Once, once a week. 37, yeah. 38, yep. 39. Yep. And then they, are you able to sort of explain the, the protocol without getting sort of too technical about it and sort of what, yeah. what, it, what it aims to do or how it works? Okay, well, and it's, it's almost foolproof. So mm-hmm. it's very rarely do I not have a good result on this. Mm-hmm. So what purpose of it is, is to, there's energy and blood that go to the uterus, mm-hmm. you know, to strengthen the contractions and without being too painful and, uh, and also create dilation, cervical dilation. And um, that, that's really what the main point of it. And I use moxa for that. Mm-hmm. I know some acupuncturists don't agree with moxa, but um, the with pregnant women, they need energy. They need chi and blood, yeah, built up. Yeah, they yep. need chi and blood and to get that baby out and get it out comfortably. And... Um, so that's what I. So, what are I you do. using the the moxa like um, like on the points while they're there, or you're giving them um, a stick to take home and to do yeah, points? I give them a, a, a stick to take home. Yep. That's to do that's to do the little toe point, the, yep. one of the delivery points. Yep. And then I also use needle moxa mm-hmm. on their legs, right, to get the um, get the energy flowing on the just. Prior to the delivery, because um, I, I know there has been some um, some research studies about the, the. I think there's probably more than one sort of standard protocol, but there there, there was one done, and, and um, a lot of acupuncturists now are using that sort of standard protocol of those four points. Yep. And um, yeah, and 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 you know, I think the research has shown that you know there's you know there's less late pregnancies. There's Less yeah. um, delivery time, and there's you know there's this whole and less group. breach. I, yeah. I barely have yeah. any breach births yeah. at so, all. Yeah. You know, it's so. just so effective on getting yeah. everything lined up. And, and part of my treatment is that I do that contact mocks are on the little toe. Yeah. I do eight on each on each little toe. Right. Okay. That's fantastic. So that's the main yeah. that's the main thing for delivery, but. Prior to delivery, the main things that I treat for pregnant women are one is nausea yeah. and hyperemesis, mm-hmm. and uh, that's the beginning phase of the of the pregnancy, mm-hmm. the first trimester, and then I switch to back pain. Yeah, <laughs> if I have back pain, so that'll be further on, like this is second and a half trimester. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of women do, particularly the sacral pain, and you know, uh, sort of halfway through the pregnancy, and then they worry about having treatment because you know, mums being mum naturally, so they you know they worry about what they eat and everything else. Um, but yeah, but just to, to to reassure our um our audience, just just how common acupuncture is to treat back pain during pregnancy. 
thankfully, the midwives that I have on board realized, ha- have realized through the years that it's effective, mm. and so they don't hesitate to recommend um, expectant mothers to come over for it for a few treatments. I usually insist on three treatments just at the end of the pregnancy, and it works nearly every time. Mm. So. I'm quite confident about that. Yeah. We've still got a little, a little bit of time on, on the show. Yeah. What about sort of after the birth? Um, I mean, there's many conditions, you know, like postnatal depression and many women just, you know, they're tired, they're weak, they're drained. Um, yeah. They can have a whole host. Of, do, do you find they're coming back to you for that as well? Yeah, no, not many. They, they feel so well after the treatments and after the delivery that most of them don't come back. <laughs> Um, which is fine with me, Uh, just one or two I have, one or two a year with severe postnatal depression. So I work on that to use the depression points and uh, and I I also combine, I have a um, neuro-linguistic programmer just around the corner from me and I send them to her to get their head straightened out and and all the stresses, uh, you know, worked on and and it's a nice combination fantastic it's just yeah really effective great all right yeah. listen we'll, we'll, we'll probably we'll finish up here grant so thanks very much for for being on the show and um i i will put your address and phone number in the um the comment section onto the youtube so anyone um having a look there on this show if, if they want to want to contact you they can go from there and um and, and just to finish off the um the show um to celebrate your your thirteen years whatever it was that you you had in that you did in America where we've got another sort of an American song um by a band called America and and the song is called a horse with no name and I'm sure you know it Grant yes I do yeah <laughs> all right well here it is and thanks for coming on to the show thanks for having me Heiko okay and have a good day thank you bye. <laughs>